in question number 21 we have to evaluate this integral we will divide x raised to the power 15 in numerator and denominator by division we will obtain 2 upon x cube plus 5 upon x power 6 dx divided by 1 plus 1 upon x square plus 1 upon x power 5 whole cube. Now, if we consider this expression as t, you can see this is minus dt. So, I can say it is minus dt over t cube and the integration will be 1 upon 2 t square plus c. So, the answer will become 1 upon 2 1 plus 1 upon x square plus 1 upon x power 5 whole square plus c. So, the correct option will be 3. So, the right answer is 3. In question number 22, we have a circle and diameter of that circle is called for another circle S. The center of circle S is minus 3 comma 2 and midpoint of this chord will be the center of given circle which is 2 comma minus 3 and as the radius is 5 therefore this length if I call this as point M this is capital A and this is C then ma length will be 5 unit. We have to calculate the radius of this circle S, this length will be Ca. Now, we have the length Cm, Cm length will be 5 square plus 5 square, so 5 root 2. By Pythagoras, this length will become 50 plus 25, 75, square root of 75 is 5 root 3. So, the correct answer is 3. In question number 23, we can write this expression this way. Limit n approaching to infinity, 1 plus 1 upon n, 1 plus 2 upon n and so on up to 1 plus 2n upon n, whole raised to the power 1 upon n. We have seen this kind of problem in our sheet. Now we are going to take log and write this expression as e raised to the power 1 upon n ln 1 plus 1 upon n and so on. That expression can be written in the form of summation ln 1 plus r by n where r is from 1 to 2n. Now we know we can write this expression as e raised to the power 0 to 2 ln 1 plus x. This is summation of series using definite integral. Now we will integrate ln 1 plus x. The integration is 1 plus x ln 1 plus x minus 1 because we know the integration of ln x is x ln x minus x. Therefore, integration of ln 1 plus x will be 1 plus x ln 1 plus x minus 1. The limits are 0 to 2. This is all power of e. Now, by 2 it is 3 ln 3, e raised to the power 3 ln 3. This is for 1 plus x ln 1 plus x and for the 1 plus x part it will become 3 minus 1 2. We can write this expression as e raised to the power ln 27 minus ln e square which will finally become 27 upon e square. So, the correct option will be 3, answer is third option.